Swami AR. I'm a co-founder and a CEO of uh, Camo. We are one of the uh, co-sponsors for the event today. We're very happy to be a part of the event and I've come here grab, uh, for, to looking forward to learn and uh, interact with uh, the esteemed guests that have come here today. And it's been a great day so far and uh, I'm sure it'll go, it's going to finish on a very high note. Yeah, Camu is a, a comprehensive campus management solution uh, which emphasizes on uh, campus automation with specific focus on student life cycle management and learning management and academic life cycle management. So we are a tech platform that offers uh, these services to higher education institutions and also to the K-12 as well. But we specifically focus on, uh, significant focus on uh, higher education. So that's what we do. Entire academic uh, you know, system and the pedagogical approach is more around the teaching. So we need to you know, switch that to what the students want to learn. So being very, uh, enabling the students to have more of a personal study plan, which aligns with their aspirations, their career goals is extremely important. And uh, while there have been uh, many institutions that aspire to do that, the pandemic sort of has fast tracked that. You know, we talk about uh, digital tech and online learning, but another aspect that is sort of taken off is the student's ability. They have they get the chance to learn at their own pace. Okay? Not everybody is able to be enrolled all the time, um, and their uh, study plans sort of alter, and uh, they're allowed to now take uh, study at multiple institutions at the same time. So to be to enable them to acquire the necessary skills that they need through whatever courses they want to study is going to be the most crucial change in order to make them uh, you know, align with their goals in life. Yeah, then that just gives uh, options. So today, many, many, many students just don't go to the school they prefer or don't go to school at all sometimes just because of uh, what it costs them, right? So if you go to higher education, getting more and more expensive, but uh, there are people who aspire that kind of education, but then just not able to finance it. Some others, you know, so there are different scenarios. So this will sort of just give the options. But if you look at the potential, the booming economy in India, the kind of uh, uh, the pay packages students are drawing today, what is being invested in the education is a reasonably smaller you know, amount of money, which they can easily pay forward. Uh, if you take the basis of like a car loan or like a housing loan, this is going to be even more easier for them to pay back compared to these uh, you know, other loans that have been so well organized for the last years. So I think that's a very welcome change and that brings in a lot of investment into um, education. When I come back to that, uh, the student's uh, choice, what would you like to be? Uh, when I studied, I, that was never an option to even think about. I mean, it would be the, not even the wildest of dreams would you think about. I would like to study what I like to study was not even an option. So I think that's like, you know, opening up. Now students are becoming more like a customer and uh, they will choose what they want to study and uh, they would like to uh, acquire a degree from a particular institution. But there are certain four or five or ten courses. They will go to the other institutions that they feel is the best in delivering those courses and acquire them and then come back and put everything together and earn your degree when you like. Study at my own pace, study what I like, when I like. So completely control how I would like to do things. And in the future, we're not going to have, you know, probably employment, employees is going to become a less relevant term. It's going to be workplaces. We do work. We don't go for jobs. So the, it's all going to culturally change. So if you take that into, into account, this way of acquiring skills as you need, when you need it, and uh, study the things that you're interested in. That is a, a welcome change. It's really beginning to take uh, center stage now. So back in 2015, um, institutions were aspiring to do this. If you take the modern economies in Europe, in the UK, the US, this is how education has always been. It's never been a set program where a batch of students join in one year, all of them graduate together at the end of the three years or four years. And with a small variation, but they pretty much do everything at the same pace, irrespective of what your personal aspirations are. But uh, we brought that concept in. We do work with about uh, 30 odd universities outside of uh, India. And pretty much the, mo the model is very much uh, similar to this. This has been the global um, approach to education, but somehow we've been in a bit of a set pattern. 
so we sort of enable that liberation so for that you be it's important to have tech so we have like 5000 students in a in a institution it's easy to do treat them as bunch of students and just plan the entire curriculum delivery it's easy to do that you don't need to keep track but if 5000 students are going to have 5000 study plans how do you figure out who graduates when what's the plan how do you schedule lecture that's what we do so and that actually has reduced uh, the investment needed from the institution side it's reduced the teaching faculty load because the courses that people are disinterested in don't need to be taught but we just teach them because of that set pattern so campus come in there to 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 uh, enable the students to do what they like at their own pace reduces the investment uh, for the institution gives them specific focus and also gives enables them to make the student feel empowered so it's a lot better for the institution to say today i will be your your uh, institution that offers your degree you're free to do things within a particular uh, boundary and uh, they're also feeling that you know the, the students are happy in that way and they can retain the students and reduce the dropouts so that's why we come to basically enable this model completely and we've done this over 25 odd institutions in india in the indian context so this is our our mainstay education is meant to be you need to enjoy your education and it needs to be delivered in that manner the, the student needs to enjoy it how can we make it an enjoyable experience not something under pressure and you've got to go and acquire that but i think that the 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 necessary environment is there today and uh, that's what we need to work towards it needs to be an enjoyable journey